I cannot believe that we're heading into the end of this year and that means that the holidays are coming and so for today's video I'm gonna head into Walmart and try on and put together some potential Thanksgiving outfits. Obviously these outfits could work for anything this time of year in the fall but Thanksgiving is gonna be what I have in my mind as I'm creating these outfits. If you're new to my channel I just wanted to say hi I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you're here. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe but for now let's head into Target and try on some Thanksgiving outfits. My goal was to grab a variety of outfits because I know people do a variety of things on Thanksgiving. The first outfit is the most dressy and not just because it's literally a dress. So I grabbed this burgundy floral dress from Time and True. It has a ruffle at the bottom, the sleeves are cinched and they are not lined while the torso and down from the torso is lined. It has this ruffle at the top and I tried this on in a size medium and it was $17.98. And this dress also comes in this black floral and in this yellow snakeskin. This dress is really pretty. I think the colors are perfect for Thanksgiving and just fall in general. The length on me was okay. I'm 5'8 for reference, so I wouldn't mind it being a couple inches longer. Because the top is sheer, you can see my bra strap, but because of the color of it, it kind of just looked like part of the dress, which I thought was nice. I love how the sleeves are sheer. So I think this dress is great. The flowiness of it makes it super comfortable, which is great for Thanksgiving. And I would pair this dress with some tan ankle boots like these. Next up, I found this brown and black coatigan is what it's called, a mix between a coat and a cardigan. Again. It has a tie belt around the waist and puffy sleeves with a cuff. It's this sort of large square semi plaid pattern and I tried this on in a size medium and it was $24.98. And it also comes in this black with white window pane pattern in this red and black buffalo plaid and in this white leopard. To go under the coat again, I found this simple black long sleeved shirt. I grabbed it in a size medium and it was $11.98 according to online. For the bottoms, I grabbed these blue high rise jeggings from Time and True. They're in a size medium or 810 and they are $12.98. I think this is a great outfit for Thanksgiving if you tend to get cold and you want to stay cozy and warm even inside. This coat again, like the name suggests, isn't quite as heavy as a coat, but it is warmer than a lot of cardigans. It has pockets on the sides as well, which I think is great. I really love this color and I think it's perfect for fall. And I also really like the pattern. It's also pretty soft as well. The sleeves were a good length on me and I like how they're kind of poofy. And the tie waist gives some nice waist definition, even though this covers you up a lot. The jeggings are nice, especially since the top of them to me is what looks the most fake since it's a fake fly and button on them. But the coat again covers that up so you can't tell. And I like the idea of jeggings for Thanksgiving because they look nice and they still have that comfy waist and if you like to eat a lot at Thanksgiving then wearing comfy pants is always appreciated and I would pair this outfit with some black Chelsea boots. I also grabbed one other top to go with the jeggings and it's this green tunic top from Time and True. It is ribbed and it has long sleeves. It has a v-neck and I tried this on in a size small and it was $15.98 and it also comes in black, in red, in cream, in pink and in this teal blue, which I think is super pretty. This is a really great top for fall and even for winter too. It's longer in the back than in the front and I think that would make it great to go with leggings also. I love the side slits on there and I think the v-neck is the perfect size. It's not too small, but it's also not too big. And this top is extremely soft and cozy and it fits pretty relaxed as well. And because the top and the jeggings are so simple, I think I would pair this outfit with some interesting boots like these black rhinestones lace-up boots. Next I grabbed this black and white checked blouse from Time and True. It has buttons running down the middle and the sleeves are cinched and I think they're about three-quarter length. There's some gathering around the neckline and I tried this on in a size small and it was $19.98. And this blouse also comes in this rainbow plaid, in this pink and navy, and in this green plaid. To go with the blouse, I found these black stretchy pants from Time and True. They are boot cut and they have a slit in the front with a seam on both legs coming from the slits. They have a stretchy waist and the back is pretty simple. I tried these on in a size medium and they were $19.98. 
I see this outfit as kind of a dressier option than jeans when you also don't want to wear a dress, but it's also super comfortable. This blouse is nice. I like the black and white checker and the buttons down the front. I would kind of expect a top like this to only have the few buttons on the top, but they do go all the way down on this top. The sleeves have got a little bit of puffiness to them, which is nice. And the length could actually be really helpful for Thanksgiving because I know I would be less likely to get food on them versus a long sleeve top. And here's the actual length of the blouse. These pants are really nice. The waist is stretchy, so they're so comfortable and they're very form fitting because they're stretchy. I think the slits in the front are really fun and the length hit me right around the ankles. I'm 5'8 for reference. And I'd pair this outfit with some slide on mules like these. Next up, I found this orange top from Time and True. It has this small diamond quilting on it. It has buttons down the front and it has a V-neck. The shoulders have a little bit of puff to them and I tried this on in a size small and it was $26.98. To go with the top, I found these matching orange joggers from Time and True. They're the same orange quilted fabric and they have a tie waist. And I tried them in a size large because they didn't have a medium or a small and they were $26.98. And this set also comes in black and in pink. I see this set as sort of a transition outfit. I would wear it in the morning while I'm cooking and getting things ready. And then maybe I would swap out the pants for something a little nicer and keep the top on for the actual meal and festivities of Thanksgiving. These pants are super comfy. The large was just obviously too big in the waist and pretty baggy on me through the legs as well. This top is nice. I could see it going with so many things and I really love the quilting throughout this outfit and the color is perfect for fall and for Thanksgiving. And I would pair this outfit with some simple white sneakers. Next, I grabbed this color block sweater from Time and True. It's white and tan through the body with one black sleeve and one gray sleeve and the collar is also black and then the back of the torso is all tan. I tried this on in a size medium and it was $17.98 and it also comes in a few other combinations of colors as well. To go with the sweater I found these black high-rise jeans from Celebrity Pink. They are skinny jeans and they have a button fly and I tried these on in a size 9 and they are $19.50. I like this outfit a lot. These jeans are nice. There's the button fly that is on the outside. They were a little short on me, but that's kind of normal for me. And they did fit true to size. This sweater is really nice. I really liked it. I love the color blocking and it's a nice neutral, all those colors. The length of it is really nice as well. I like that it's longer in the back than in the front and it's pretty soft and comfy as well. And I'd pair this outfit either with these gray Chelsea boots to tie into the gray sleeves on the sweater or with these leopard sneakers to tie into the tan and black on the sweater and to just add a little pattern in there. For the next outfit, I started with this pink sweatshirt from Time and True. It's a pretty typical sweatshirt, except it has these ruffles on the shoulders. It has a crew neckline and I tried this on in a size medium and it was $17.98. And this ruffle sweatshirt comes in some other solid colors as well. To go with the pink sweatshirt, I grabbed these light wash mom jeans from Celebrity Pink. The hem is a cutoff and they have some distressing throughout the legs. They have a zipper fly and I tried these on in a size 9 and they were $22.50. I like how this outfit is casual yet still cute. These jeans are nice although they were a little bit short for me. They fit true to size and the waist came about an inch under my belly button. They are definitely a relaxed fit and I did have some extra fabric in the crotch. I really like this sweatshirt. I love that it has the comfy feel of a sweatshirt, but then it does have those ruffles, which I think makes it look a little, little nicer, a little fancier, especially for Thanksgiving. The pink color is nice and it does fit slightly relaxed, but it's definitely on the more form fitting side, just as a sweatshirt. And I would pair this outfit with some brown boots like these. I also saw this sweater right at the end, so I grabbed it too. It's this orange sweater with cream hearts on it from No Boundaries, which is Walmart's junior brand. It has a V neckline and I tried it on in a size small and it was $16.98. I paired this with the mom jeans from the last outfit and I think this is really cute. I like the vibe of this sweater. It's a nice orange color and I love how some of the hearts are filled and some are not. The V-neck line is nice and the sweater itself is very soft and cozy. It is a slightly cropped length and I do think that I would size up for a more oversized look. I think that would be really nice. And I would pair this outfit with some cream combat boots. 
I'm really liking what Walmart is getting in for fall and potentially for Thanksgiving. If you want to check out any of the items that I showed, tried on today, I'll be sure to link all of them down below in the description for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you would like to see more videos from me. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!